Uh, hey guys, um, I'm going to be doing a response video <clears throat> to um, Christoph um, on a comment chain um, on one of N.D. Clark's uh, videos um, on antinatalism and ethylism. Um I'll put a link in the description if anyone wants to um, actually read it. Um, it's pretty garbage. Um, but yeah, um, anyway, I'll start with the costs of life. Uh, you have to demonstrate how most people think the costs of life are worth it. No, I don't. Uh, I really don't. Um, you're the one saying it's worth it. You have to demonstrate that it is. You have to demonstrate that children with cancer is worth someone's gratification somewhere. Um, you, you, ha you have to demonstrate that some kid with cancer is worth uh, someone's good time. You do. Antinatalists and ethylists have no such obligation. Like at all. So no. Um, if it's only a minority of people, antinatalists, ethylists, etc., then that makes procreation worthwhile because there's only a tiny chance that the child is going to have your same mindset. Um, no, it's not about mindset, silly. Um, like, at all. Um, first, of, first of all, uh, mindset aside, getting raped is not a good thing. <laughs> I mean, re regardless of like how you deal with it afterwards, if I'm gonna be strong and I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna help other other rape victims who are having a hard time. Doesn't mean that the rape was worthwhile, okay? Um, it's not necessarily depending on who the person is. Um, <laughs> yeah, but. Um, let me put it to you this way: if it if it's a if it's a majority thing, if the majority of people thought it was okay, it was perfectly fine to go around and rape children. Would you be okay with it? <laughs> like, would would you be okay if ever if everyone was like was like yeah you know what the idea of raping a child like I wouldn't do it but like I'm totally down for it if like you wanted to do it like I, n no worries. And then when that person came over to your child, you you wouldn't have anything contrary to say to that to them. Oh, you'd be like, oh no, go ahead, go right ahead. Really? You'd you'd be like one of those mothers that pimp out their their kids for like crack or heroin or something. Speaking of, yeah, drugs. There you go. That's a that's a nicer example. Drugs. Um, if the majority of people enjoyed being forcibly addicted to drugs, let's say heroin, for example, um, you'd, you'd be down with it if I strapped you down and injected you with heroin until you were like, you know what, I kind of want a heroin now. You'd be okay with that. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think so. You'd be okay with people doing that to your kid? Nah, I don't think so. Um, also, why are you continuing to live if you think the costs of life um, aren't worth it? I had to write some things down for this. Ha. Um, first of all, it's messy, it's unpleasant, and it's really not a lot of fun. Um, it's <laughs> it, Suicide... It's not a great way to go. It's really not. Um, before I really get into it, though, um, my personal reasons for sticking around aren't a good aren't a good reason or a justification for creating me, and we'll we'll see why in a little bit. Um, yeah, so um, I'm not satisfied with the amount of drugs I've done in, in my life yet. Um, there's there's still quite a few drugs I, I'd like to try um, before I, you know. Um, so there's that. Um, and I feel that knowing what I know, I have some duty to help 
point people in the correct direction, um, at least philosophically, as to what is what is going on in life. Um, that's those are my three big reasons um, for remaining alive. But again, that isn't um, a good enough reason to create me in the first place, right? To find meaning and, and a reason to continue on, that that's an imposition, right? Like, I have to figure this out. It's not just, you know, uh, it's not a, it's not a, it's a simple thing. Mm, yeah. Anyway, um, have a day. Um, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals, and a Happy New Year.